Hi friends and welcome to Little Woods Art. A friend of mine wanted to know how to draw a giraffe. So today I'm going to show you how to draw this cute colorful giraffe. What you're going to need are colored pencils, an eraser, and some paper. Let's get started. Now I've lightly traced my giraffe here just so I have a guideline to show you. But I will tell you step by step how to draw it. What we're going to do is start first at the top of your paper and giraffes have these little knob type things on the top of their head. So draw two circles and join it with a U shape. Great. Next you're going to draw two lines down. So it looks like that. Then we're going to draw the ears. Now the ears are shaped kind of like a leaf or footballs and they have pretty big ears. So draw two ears evenly. Now I'm drawing in pen, but you might want to draw in pencil so you can erase. And put a little bit of fur in their ears. Good. Next is the shape of the head. So what you're going to do, it's kind of like a upside down pear. So you're going to come around, make like two almost like you're doing a circle. And then make a U shape, connecting those two. Then go up a little bit from the bottom line, and you're gonna make two little upside down teardrops, and then a bump like that for its nose. And if I'm going too fast, just pause the video. Then they kinda of have this bump in the middle of their head, so I'm just going to draw a couple lines there to show that it's a different height. Did you know that baby giraffes, when they're born, are six feet tall? That's pretty tall. Next are the eyes. Now, if you put the eyes too low, it'll look weird. The eyes kind of go right by the ear. So you're going to make two circles and leave a white dot. That's the reflected light. And if you look at pictures, giraffes kind of have long eyelashes. So we're going to make some eyelashes. So leave a white dot. I always think when you add the eyes on a drawing, it just really helps it to come to life. Good. Now the neck. You can make your neck as long as you want. I'm going to take it all the way off the page. And notice how when I draw the neck, it's skinny at the top, but it gets a little fatter as you go down. <clears throat> and then you could draw the, the top of the back. So I'm going to curve it around. Now, sometimes their tail is up in the air and sometimes it's hanging down, but I thought it'd be fun to draw its tail up. So make a curved line up. And they have this little poof at the end. So make that. And then a curved line down. Good. Then they have a little mane. So an easy way to make the mane is just draw parallel with the neck. And then the spots. Now the spots you can make any shape you want. But if you notice, they don't touch. And I would have them kind of go off the edge of the giraffe so you don't see the whole spot. So just make the spots however you want. Make a few on the tail. Good. Now you also want to add some background. So I just made real simple some leaves, but you could put anything you want back there. I also read that giraffes have black bluish tongues. And they have really long tongues. There you go. Now this is kind of an imaginary fun giraffe. If you notice, the colors are not the normal giraffe colors. So I added a balloon. So if you want to add a balloon, just draw a string. And an easy way to draw a balloon, draw a little bit of a tie there, and then just make your balloon. Now the balloon is going behind the giraffe. So the ear is going to be in the front. Now I thought to add some extra fun, I put some clouds in the air. 
So you just make some bumps. Make your clouds different. Remember, variety is a good thing in art. You don't want them all looking the same. And I put this little giraffe flying up in the sky. Not sure how he's gonna get down, but he's happy. So you draw a little pear shape again, a long neck. <clears throat> and this one is further back, so you don't want to make this giraffe as big. That's called perspective. Things in, far away are smaller. They're not really smaller, but they look smaller. And then I gave him a balloon. So the same way you did the balloon here. Draw the bottom and a string. And there you go. There's a giraffe. Then take your colored pencils and let's, let's color it and see how he turns out. I hope you had fun drawing this cute creative giraffe. If you did, please subscribe to my page, Little Woods Art, and I hope that you will join me again. Goodbye.